Oh my God, people. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It has been, oh man, it has been hard. And you know, I should be used to this. This is kind of like the rite of passage. This is the NFL winner that is the Dallas Cowboys. This isn't new with us getting pounded on and told, being told our team and our coaches and our quarterback that they're all worthless. We act like this is new. This shit ain't new. This shit happens every year. Every year when you're a Dallas Cowboy fan. And I'm going to add to the craziness right now because I don't know if you've heard this. The Cowboys are $19.7 million over the salary cap. And it's all Dak Prescott's fault. It's all his fault. We can't do anything. We are 19 million. How the hell are we going to operate when we are $19.7 million um, over the cap and we got to pay Dak Prescott again? And then we got to pay CD? And then we got to pay Micah Parsons? Man, we can't. There's no. There's no way, no how. It's time to panic. We're going to have to gut the roster right now. We're going to have to gut this mother humper because we just can't do this. And to make it even worse, I thought it would be a cold day in hell. A cold day in hell before I would ever see this happen. And this is... Richard Sherman, I want you to listen to this. This is my, I, I, I'm just like, are we in like some alternate universe or something or other? Because listen to this. I, I want, I want, Skip, I want, I almost want it to happen for you. I want y'all to get rid of him <laughs> because then I can sit here and be like, remember, you sure would want to yeah. have Dak Prescott? Because when they drafted, yeah. when they drafted the kid Trey Lance, Skip, who does he remind you of, Skip? A little bit of Dak Prescott, Skip. A little bit of Dak Prescott, because that's. I don't what, see any what, Dak Prescott. Yeah, because he's not playing. Because he's not playing, Skip. But if you told me he he reminds you of a kid that led, led the league in touchdown passes, the second team All Pro this season, then when Josh Allen was drafted, they're like, hmm, kind of a Dak Prescott mold. Skip, Dak Prescott has been the mold of how they're drafting these quarterbacks for a very long time. He just does not get the credit like that. Trey Lance is like. A, a prototype of Dak Prescott and what he did and how he's had success in this league because you want somebody like that. But then the guy who has it doesn't even want it. Even when he's the second team all pro in the National Football League, is 32 quarterbacks, they're saying he's the second best. Goodness gracious. Skip that. Wow. I never, never, ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever thought I would see Richard Sherman defending Dak Prescott. Uh, that's just, I, I just can't believe that one. But be that as it may, you know, Cowboy fans, it's not a surprise. They want to just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. He's a bum. He's a get rid of him. Just, just get rid of him. I know that he only lost one game in the division this year, that he's owned the NFC East, that he's, you know, a, a, a more touchdown passes than anybody else. He did it without a running guy. But just get, he's a bum. He's not a winner. He's not a winner. Just give me a Justin Herbert or a Josh Allen. But we can't do that because we are so over the cap. And it's Dak Prescott's fault. But wait. What if I told you that cap hell is a myth? That it only exists in the minds of Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. Because the Cowboys could actually be in really great shape and have some money. Believe it or not. I went through this exercise with uh, Game Time Brian. Um, we were doing a live stream on Sunday. Because here's the thing. Dak Prescott, that bum-ass quarterback, is a $59 million cap hit. Now, you can do two things with Dak Prescott's contract. Because you have the voidable years, you could restructure that contract and just kick some of that money out. Now, you're still going to have to pay the $59 million. 
but you can spread it out over three years. And that would reduce this cap number by $20 million. It could be $20 million. That would get you back to being even. Or you could go ahead and do a long-term deal. And I'm betting that um, what they would probably do if they do a long-term deal with him is get that cap number down to about 25, maybe even 20. If you look at some of these new contracts out there, I think Jalen Hurts was only $6 million last year. I think it's $11 million this year. But let's say you got it down to 20. That gives you guys $20 million of cap space. That one move. And Zach Martin is a $28 million cap hit, which they have the triggers involved in that one that they can just kind of trigger and, and real easy restructure that and grab yourself another $10 million, right? So now we're talking about $30 million in cap space. Oh, shit. But you still got to sign Micah and you got to sign CD. Now, to Marcus Lawrence, his cap number is $20 million. If you believe he's going to be able to be there, you can grab yourself another 10 right there. Oh, shit. We up to $40 million of cap space. And Diggs' contract is actually $17.9 million. If you get him a long-term deal, you can probably grab another 10 off of that number. Is that the big 50 million? 50? million dollars a cap space if you decide to move on from Michael Gallup you can make him a post June 1st which would net you another 9.5 million you're now talking about 60 million dollars Terrence Steele has the same uh, triggers in his deal so you could get yourself about another five to seven million off of Terrence Steele. We're talking about sixty-five million dollars, and you got Dak locked up, and CD locked up, and the only other big one you got to do is Micah Parsons. Now you can't; you're not going to reduce his five million. His is going to increase, but it might only increase by about. Five million more. Now you do have sixteen free agents, some of which you don't really want to have back. Some of them you do, but most of those free agents are one and two million dollar kind of guys, except for maybe Stephon Gilmore. But you'd have sixty million dollars without any pain whatsoever, whatsoever to work and sign whomever you wanted to. And if they really wanted to get more, they could. It's you know, you, you got to, you know, turn the man upside down and shake him a little, get the change to fall out of his pockets, and I'm sure Stephen Jones will be more than happy to do that cuz he wants every cent. So, these things are kind of a myth. And um yeah. I'll see you guys. Peace.